All right, the Atlanta Falcons have a undrafted free agent rookie that is going up the depth chart, and that is Jaden Price, and we're going to talk all about him. If you're new to the channel, we are Detroit Lions fans, but we have this channel dedicated to teams and stories that just don't get the love they deserve, and, and, and really, being a Lions fan, we know all about that, so we're actually getting the love now, but we never did for many years. So Jaden Price, and this is why it's kind of interesting, is because if you're an Atlanta Falcons fan, you're pretty good in the secondary, but you've got Mike Hughes, who um, actually was with the Lions there. He's, he's solid. Your safeties are good. You've got Phillips and Terrell. And then is it like, all right, is it Kevin King? Or is it going to be Mike Hughes backing up? Is it D. Alford? And there's Jaden Price just sneaking around. And now the big deal with him, five-year guy. Let's, let's read about him here real quick. Um he was a five-year guy at North Dakota State. He kick, returned kickoffs and punts, so he's got that special teams element that could be really interesting. He played in 71 games, 100 tackles. So, I mean, so I won't go through all his stats, but basically he's got the production. And it's like, all right, physically can he do it, right? Being six foot, 185 pounds, can he physically do it? We'll see. But production-wise, he's there. He's versatile, can play inside or outside, can play punt returns or kick returns. So now Jaden Price kind of sits there as a as a player that the Atlanta Falcons might end up using. Remember, Jeff Okuda departs the Atlanta Falcons defense all last year was very solid. And now, and, and again, I know we we've been talking about it. And again, let me know in the comments. We've we've been asking this to the fan bases. It's pretty fun. Let me know your favorite Atlanta Falcons player and don't give me an obvious one. Right. So kind of give me the under the radar one that we're not really thinking about. When you think of Atlanta Falcons players, I man, when I think of all timers, let me just look up my uh I can't think of his name. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So like right, you can't say you can't say Mike Vick or Julio Jones or Matt Ryan. You got to find give me a little something from the past. Um, can't say Tony Gonzalez. Jeez, hold on, where is he? Nobody panic. Mohamed Sanu, he was solid. No one gives him credit. Mohamed Sanu and um, man, that's not who I was looking for. I'll I'll think of it. Okay, work done. Loved work done. He was good in the pros too. He was not bad. He was sweet in college. Like, I can't wait to see what he does. He was real solid. Okay. Jaden Price. Um, again, if you're an Atlanta Falcons fan, your defense kept you in games last year and you didn't have an offense or you didn't have a quarterback. Now it's like, what happens if a quarterback finds our weapons and all of our weapons emerge? Not just Bijan, but all of these guys that we've been drafting over these last few years. What if they really flourish under Kirk Cousins? And then our defense holds us in games. And what if the depth that we have from rookies, free agents, first year guys going to second year, second year guys going to third year, what if those guys can actually make the improvements that we need? What if we get depth from an undrafted free agent? And I got that idea from an article that was like the the undrafted free agent from each team that's most likely to make the team. And Jaden Price was was on there. And it's like, well, dude. Those are the types of things. That's what takes you. Everyone talks about the high end players, the Kirk Cousins, Michael Penix. You're you're making trades. You're you're you know drafting weird. It's like those get the headlines. Nope, we all know that. But at the same time, it's man, can these depth players really make things happen? That's what I want to see. So another thing that uh, is kind of interesting is that let me let me look at this and and. I, We'll keep it positive, but also want to look at this. Three disappointing players early in Atlanta Falcons training camp. Moore. Oh, my gosh. Well, Raheem Morris has talked about Rondell Moore starting to heat up. He doesn't change the fact that, hasn't been, that he has been absent from first-team offense. This is okay. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, but it's okay. You don't need him. You really don't. Clark Phillips. Clark Phillips finishes rookie year as a starting outside cornerback opposite of star AJ Terrell early this offseason the coaching staff talked about the confidence they had in Phillips keeping his role going in the second season nevertheless the early 
reps have gone to Mike Hughes. We just looked at that. So now you've got Mark Mike Hughes going up here. Clark Phillips, where are you at? Now you've got to go D. Alfred and the Nickelback. Where does that move Jaden Price? It's something to keep an eye on as you get into the preseason games. So that's what, let's be honest, like no one's watching preseason, but you kind of are. But these are, there's one or two guys on each team that you're kind of watching. And, and this is the, this is who you're watching. Keep an eye on that cornerback position because it's so important. You got to have it and you're really hoping for a corner to, or just the depth to be there. DeMarco, um, Helams safety Phillips took over for talented veteran Jeff Okuda as a late round rookie while Helams took over for Richie Grant. It is mirrored at situations in the secondary. So he wasn't outstanding as a rookie. He was certainly better than the guy replaced. Who knows? Maybe Grant can have a breakout year, but for now it's disappointing that this team seems to be stuck in the same trap as they were last year. Again, secondary player. The secondary is so important because we got to stop the, you got to play the run, got to stop the run, got to run the ball. It's football, but then the turnovers are huge too, but explosive plays are really the, the thing right now. in in football, you cannot give up explosives, just can't. So yes, you need a pass rush. Yes. You need to be stout in the run. So, you, you know, your linebackers need to good, be good. So you don't give things up. But your secondary has to be really good. So if the secondary is good and, the, and you find depth, then the defense is good. And now it goes back to the offense, Kirk Cousins. There's so many question marks with the Atlanta Falcons. If this team can get those question marks answered, man, this is a good team. It's a good team. It really is because Kirk Cousins changes everything. And I think you got to be excited if you're an Atlanta Falcons fan. Okay. Again, if you're new, we're Detroit Lions fans. And, man, the Atlanta Falcons came to Detroit last year, played them tough. Um, ultimately, Detroit won at home. Just didn't get any play from Ritter. I mean, it's crazy. But if you don't get good, solid play from your quarterback, uh, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. So, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know your Atlanta Falcons uh, player that's just kind of under the radar. That was one of your favorite ones. Um, non-obvious one i man the atlanta falcons the dirty birds that was crazy when you made that run it was just like dancing in the end zone you're just like let's go you're doing it at home you're eight and you're dancing oh, i love it let me know your thoughts in the comments make sure you subscribe if you watched uh, any of our videos by now if you watched a few of them hit that subscribe button and we will see all of you on the next one